What is going on guys, it's Pipe here and welcome back to another player review on the channel today. EA gave us our next dynamic duos for FIFA 23. That is going to be Marco Anatovic and then Posh. I hope that's how you say his name. Obviously both Austrian, both playing for Bologna in the Serie A. We've had the Premier League. And then what was the other league we had? I can't remember. It was actually the league um, which was Mbemba and uh, Suarez. So this is our third dynamic duos and these two look really good. Obviously an upgrade on the last two. They're now 85 rated. And first of all, we are going to take a look at Posh. So, these are coming in at two 83 rated squads with um, an inform in both, with both a Serie A player, which is quite interesting. Um, but this card is 6 foot 2 with 83 pace, 85 defending, 83 physical. He's medium, medium, right footed, two star skills, and then a three star weak foot, which is okay. He has got no traits, um, so then we're going to go straight into the attributes. So, passing is woeful on Posh, and his pace split is a little bit poor as well. His agility is really low and his strength is good. So he's going to be lengthy on new gen. He's got okay balance at 72. Reactions is good at 84. And 83 composure with 83 short pass and 75 long. His defensive stats are really, really good with 83 interceptions and head and accuracy. 84 for defensive awareness and an 87 for stand tackle. 83 for slide. His jumping's okay at 82. You know, he's 6 foot 2 as well. So that's good jumping to be fair. Stamina not really irrelevant or not really relevant on centre backs and the strength is at 86 and an aggression at 80. So a pretty damn good card there. As we move over to Marco Anatovic, we're gonna be seeing four star, four star here, six foot four, medium low work rates and right footed. He's got 83 for pace, 82 for dribbling, 86 for shooting, 82 for passing and 85 physical. He's got the outside foot shot and the flare, flare trait as well. So nice to see that. As we move on to the attributes though, this card is going to be interesting because I've got a feeling, based on this game right now, I've got a feeling on new gen he is going to be broken. 81 for acceleration and 84 for sprint speed. He's got 83 attack position and 85 finish and 88 shot power of 86 long shots, 83 volleys and penalties. Passing is okay on Arnie as well with 84 vision, 80 crossing, 84 short pass, a 77 long pass and an 82 curve. Agility is at 74 and balance at 80. 83 for reactions, 86 for ball control, 82 for dribbling, and 83 for composure. He's six foot four, remember, and he's got 83 jumping and 84 head and accuracy. So that's really good to see. 81 stamina, which is also quite good for an out of it, and then 89 strength and 82 aggression. A really, really nice card there, to be honest. I think this is a really, really cool card for both new and old gen. So we're going to quickly go over to Vatman now, guys, and take a look at chemistry styles. So first of all, we're going to be looking at Posh. He's coming in at 20,000 coins. You can also play right back, which is pretty cool. Um, and on this card, you know, he's lengthy with everything. So I would definitely, definitely, definitely consider a shallow for this card. You know, boost him all the way up in terms of pace and then defend him. So he gets plus eight to his pace, taking him up to 91. He goes up to 85 acceleration and 95 sprint speed. 91 for interceptions, 87 for head and accuracy, 88 for defensive awareness. 95 for standing tackle, and then 98 for slide. And I think that's a really good upgrade for this card. You know, he's still lengthy, which is nice for four new gen players. And then he's 88 rated for a centre back. So quite nice there for Posh. And then we have got Arnautovic coming in. So let's take a look at Arnautovic. And this guy is going to be lengthy on everything other than an artist, engine, and finisher. So we want to avoid them chemistry styles. And I think for Arnie, I think your options are really a hunter. I think the Hunter's really good for him. You know, get that pace boost. Um, and that card becomes insane then. He can also play centre forward, by the way, if you guys care about that. Uh, a Hunter is quite cool for him. I also think a Hawk's really good. As you boost up that shooting really well again. He loses a bit of pace there. 87 pace is still really good, though. Um, and dribbling is quite largely irrelevant on, obviously, uh, next gen. So your options really here, in my personal opinion, are going to be a Hunter or Hawk. I think for me, I think I like the Hawk a little bit more for Arnautovic because I want that boost to the jump in. So I think, guys, I think I'm going to go for a Hawk on Arnautovic. I don't, I, I'm, I'm not too upset if you want to go for a Hunter. If you're a bit more heavy on pace, I think a Hunter will also work for him. And then Posh, of course, we are going to go for a Shallow. So let's apply the Shallow to Posh now real quick. We've only got 10 Shallows left, which is a bit upsetting. And that is the team we're going to be playing him in, guys. So, or playing them in. And we're going to be playing in a 4 2 3 1, and those are going to be the way we set up with Arnie up front and then Posh playing in the centre back role. So let's get into a game on Old Gen 
and see how these cards perform. For cheap FIFA 23 coins, make sure to check out MMOEXP.com to get fast and reliable coins. And make sure you use code VIPER at checkout to get yourself a 5% discount. All right then guys, so the game on old gen with this dynamic duo setup, the Serie A dynamic duo setup is going to be a team that we can't see. He's got 33 chemistry though, so there is that. We're currently eight and two on our pay to win, so a bit stinky to be honest. I like Arnie's hair though. And yeah, let's see how we get on, you know. I've got a feeling the Arnie card's gonna be a bit better on new gen, but I think he will still be usable um, quite well on um, old gen, I should say. I get my words out there. Good running from him there. I did try and look for him, but no real option to find him. I also just spat, which is a bit disgusting, but right, here is Arnie. Arnie, oh, not fast enough there. Poor dribbling as well. I did try and break away from that little area there, but I just couldn't. This guy's using that, that uh, storyline right back as well. So I'm assuming he's got Gakpo. I can see Gakpo over there, yeah. Uh, posh, a bit poor from him there. Of course, he, him being, oh my God, oof. Could say, of course, of him being Austrian as well. If you've got the David Alaba, both of them being Austrian for that matter, you can obviously link him to the David Alaba. Right, here is Arnie. Use that strength then, buddy. Oh, that's nice. Arnie's in. It's good pace showing from him too. Oh, and it's a good finish from Arnie. He's definitely the powerhouse kind of player. He doesn't feel the fastest. Uh, but obviously, uh, we're on old gen here. So for him to use that strength there to get beyond his man is really nice to see. And Posh had a bit of a bad start to this game, right? Um... His, his agility and balance feels really weird over here. And it's in, oh my god, hello. Okay. Right, that game then, guys. I'll bring you back to another one. Alright, guys. So, game number two with these guys on old gen. And what I was trying to say there is Posh's agility and balance didn't feel great, but his passing is going to be something we need to test out, which is going to be important. This guy's got a good team, to be fair. Pedri, Foden, he's got the baby loud drop, which I assume he got from the 86 Max Icon Pack. And just yeah, a decent team, that one. So, after this game, guys, we'll go on to new gen and test these cards out on new gen. Yeah, I know a lot of you guys are like quite don't know what to do with the uh, the old and new gen kind of testing, but I like doing it, so we're not leaving anybody out, right? Which is which is nice, and that's important to me. You know, that you guys get to see both for whatever generation you're playing on, because the game ultimately is very different console to console, so or version to version, I should say. So it is important that I do show you guys both versions of the game, um, in my personal opinion. So that is why I do that, you know, because I don't, don't want to leave like half of you guys out that have been watching the channel. So yeah, I think it's I think it's important to do that. Great run in here from Messi. Little one into Arnie. Arnie's not going to miss that, is he? Yes, he is. Okay, that was, that was poor. That was that was poor. That's a great tackle from the best player in the world at the moment, in my opinion. Oh, Messi, you got to do better with that. Oh, and you got to do better with that as well. Sorry if you guys can hear the thunder as well, by the way. It's, uh, it's absolutely hammering it down outside at the moment. Here's Posh here. That's good defending from him there. He feels quite fast. He's got them long legs, so I feel like he's going to be really, really good on uh, new gen. So, feels okay over here as well. Oh, 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 go on then, Arnie. That's a good bit of dribbling, that. He's in. Oh, he's offside. Oh, that's annoying. Really good bit of dribbling from him over here. Been very impressed so far with both of the cards, if I'm being completely honest. Nice Teles. Into Dembu's, into Phillips. Arnie's making another run. Strength? No. I really want to try out his uh, aerial ability because I feel like he's going to be insane in the air. We're going to see if we can do that. Nice from Teles there. Oh man, his, his running is incredible. Oh, Arnie, please. Finish that, my son. Oh my god. Okay, I did yellow that though. That wasn't on him, that was on me. He feels really good though, guys. Even over here, which I'm a little bit surprised about. No way has he found that. Yeah, he didn't. Thank God for that. Let's get it back into Posh. As long as his passing's okay over here, I think we're going to be okay with him, you know. Let's try and knock one up here to Arnie. He's, he's constantly making runs though. Constantly, constantly trying to get in behind. Which is nice, because he's not even on that. Oh, I tried to call him short there. This guy seems like a decent little player. Oh, my team press there. My second man contain costing me. What a finish. That is from Foden. Fair play. Fair play. I don't think he's deserved that, but... Go on then, Arnie. Okay, it's good defending again, to be fair. It's poor from me, though. And quite poor from Posh to, like, commit that far over, in my opinion. Kind of my fault, though. I'll take the blame for that. I think that's fair that I take the blame. 
I want to get back into the game though. We're we're currently uh, I think nine and two right now, so I want to try and get the win. And guys, in a minute, I'm going to bring back to highlights. Okay, nice from Arnie, nice from Arnie, nice from Arnie, and it's a brilliant finish from the lads. He is really good, guys. I want to bring back some highlights now. Oh posh! Oh, it's good defending actually. Really good defending. Oh, nice Arnie. Into Dan Juma. Dan Juma's in. Dan Juma. Oh, it's a good save, but it's good pull up play there from Ar on Outovic, in my opinion. So Arnie again with an insane run. Messi finds him too. On Outovic, bit of bad dribbling there from him. Making great runs, though, all the time. Oh, Arnie. Oh, he's good, guys. It's 2 1, and what a goal! Nice posh. Oh, that's a great challenge. Important one there too. All right, guys. So, two games done with Arnautovic on Old Gen as well as posh. Arnautovic is absolutely brilliant. What a card this is. Six foot four. Four star, four star. Insane card, man. He's so strong. His finishing is really good because of that high shot power. His passing is okay and he makes a brilliant hold up, man, with some okay dribbling as well. I think this is a really unique card. I do think he will also be really good on Old Gen because... He has okay dribbling, and he is meant to play this kind of target man role on old gen, and I imagine on new gen too. We're going to test that out next, of course, but he feels fast. He feels good on the ball. His shooting's good. His passing's okay, good enough for a centre forward. And of course, his strength, aggression, and heading accuracy and jumping is insane. This is a really must-complete card, in my opinion. Even if you don't want to do both, guys, Arnautovic is an absolute beast, and I highly recommend completing him. Um, insane, insane card on old gen. And that is my verdict for Arnautovic on Old Gen. And then for Posh, he's okay. He's nothing special. He's not the best centre-back in the world, but he will certainly do you a solid. Um, if you've got 83 rated cards in your, in your team or in your in your club, I'd highly recommend completing both of them, man. Um, and as I said in the gameplay as well, the link to Alaba is really nice as well, obviously being Austrian as well. And Posh was okay. You know, He's a little bit slow and lethargic at times, but... Overall, I still do think this is a really good card. Um, just not as good as like a David Alaba or... I'd say he's a little bit better than somebody like Kim Pembe. How about that, guys? Um, so he's not like considerably better than Kim Pembe, but you will get more out of him than somebody like Kim Pembe. And I do not mind him. So on our Twitch and Posh, get the seal of approval from me on old gen. Let's move over to new gen and see how they perform. All right, guys, over to new gen we go. And let's see how Arnie and Posh perform over here. Um, I'm on new gen, of course, as I just said, and we're 10 and 2 right now on my pay to win. Let's see what team he has got. He's got Rudiger, Kim Pembe. Oh, he's got a good team. He's got a good team, man. A really, really nice one. He's got Sissoko in that midfield, which is obviously a rule breaker. A new one as well. If he's actually playing him in midfield, though, he might not, not get on too well with him because of the way these kind of players play. Oh, my God, this, this feels crazy fast. Okay, let's see how we get on then, guys. And Juma into Arnie. Oh, lengthy. Whoa! Okay. Now, you're not going to be able to feel his dribbling too much, I don't think, over on, on uh, this version of the game. But that was insane lengthiness. Insane, insane lengthiness. And off the step overs, it's really good as well because you get the full level of lengthiness straight away, which is obviously what we want. Oh, that Verde, come on now. Best player in the world at the moment, and he can't even find that. Right, here he is. Oof. Don't dream back into him. On out of it. Oh, what a finish that is, Arnie. 1-0 just like that. And a great, great, great finish. And that's the thing I will say about him, guys. His finishing feels really, really, really clean. Um, which is not really what I was too much expecting. Oh, is he, is he gearing up to leave? Oh, he actually is, I think. Is he actually going to leave? Surely not. Okay, guys, I'll bring him back regardless. All right, guys, he wants to play. Okay, we're, we're, back, we're back in the game now. And yeah, he wants to carry on, which I rate I'm going to put attacking fullbacks on because I want to try and test his aerial abilities over here against the likes of Rudiger, you know, and see if he can beat them in the air because, you know, he's not the, like, he's not got better jumping than the nice defending pass. It's a bit annoying that's gone out for a corner, especially with how broken corners are on this game. I'm actually going to press with Posh here. Tellez, nice Donnarumma. Who is up there? It's, it's actually not Arnie. That's disappointing. I like to think Arnie would be the one that would be sitting up there, but let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can get some width, width played into this. Oh, come on, Valverde, man. Nice Alaba, good defending. There's Posh again. 
Parson feels okay with Posh, which is something that is a, a like a contentious point, right? Because he hasn't got good passing. But it feels good. All right, here's Dan Juma. Going to look for Arnie here. Arnautovic. Arnautovic. Oh, what a header. What a goal that is. Okay. All right. All right. Guys, do this, do this SBC. Do both of these cards, man. That's incredible. That is absolutely incredible from Arnie. Oh. Oh, my God. Yes. Yes. Oh, unlucky. Back up to the full back. Let's try and put this into Arnie. No, no, no. Yeah, no. It's gone to Messi. Why has it gone to Messi then? I didn't put enough power on that for it to go all the way there. He's brilliant though, man. His positioning feels really, really good as well. He's got good aggression as well, which is something that's quite nice to have on your strikers if you can get it. Posh driving the ball out there, which is nice. I feel like I keep on saying Pochettino. But I know Tottenham just lost today, by the way. Hold the L, Tottenham fans. Oh, Posh. He feels good as well because he's lengthy over here. I think these cards are better on uh, new gen. Definitely, definitely. That's unlucky as well. This guy isn't a bad player either, so this is a good test for these cards, and they're, they're both playing really, really nice. Well, no ass. Always done me there. Posh might have to deal with a cross here. No, okay. We're just going to dilly dally, are we? All right. All right, here's Messi. Bit of time on the ball there. Back into the best player in the world. All right, here's Navas. What's an awful touch from Jesus Navas there. Absolutely awful. Made up for it, though. Good defending from him there. But yeah, guys, we're now 25 minutes into this game. I'll bring you back some highlights. It's good defending from Posh there, by the way. He's offside anyway. Oh, Arnie. Oh, my God. He really does throw himself about. I love it. Oh, that's good defending as well from Posh. Just step out that quickly. That lengthy style there helping him there, for sure. Oh, here we go. Look at that positioning. Oh, now, which is absolutely brilliant, guys. Absolutely brilliant. All right, then, guys. So, review done on Arnautovic on new gen. Now, I know we care about Posh as well, but we obviously want Arnautovic to be the main talking point. And, guys, this card is coming in at 21,000 coins. I'm going to make a very bold statement. This card is better than Erling Haaland on this game. I promise you, you can get 10 times more, or not 10 times, but like three times more output from this Arnie card than you can from Haaland. And why is that? Four star, four star. You know, he's six foot four as well, so he's only a little bit smaller than Haaland. Arnautovic is better in the air. Arnautovic has about the same kind of strength. He's got about the same agility and balance. His dribbling is better. His passing is so much better than Haaland's. The only thing you're really sacrificing is a little bit of pace and a little bit of shooting. Um, I can't stress enough how good this card is. He is so good on new gen as well because of the lengthy accelerate time. If you do a step over, just drive into the box with him, he is so good at just getting into the box and taking a shot because he's got good shot power as well. Makes him an absolute animal on this game on new gen. And as I said to you in the uh, other part, I really liked him on old gen as well. And the reason for that is because he still has that kind of physical presence that players like Becker, for example, don't have even though they've got really high strength. He feels 10 times stronger than the Becker card. So I would say you 100% should complete this on out of itch. And he is better than Haaland, in my opinion. You're getting the kind of like Ronaldo ability in the air. And you're getting the four-star skills that Haaland doesn't have. And the four-star weak foot that Haaland doesn't have. You're getting 84 vision and 84 short pass, which Haaland doesn't have. And you'll sacrifice, sacrifice a little bit of pace and a little bit of shooting. So I think this card's absolutely brilliant. An insane price. I don't know why EA have priced him at this, considering how much better he is than Haaland. And Haaland's, what, like 200, 300k. So... Insane, insane card, guys. No issues with a medium low. Literally no issues with this card, full stop. Even on old gen. No left stick dribbling issues. Obviously, you can't left stick dribble too well on here. But once we did get the ball with him, his dribbling was okay on new gen. So, brilliant card. I would say put a Hawk on him as well. I think the Hawk is really nice. We'll get that big boost to the jump in. Get that boost to the strength. And get that little boost to the shooting and pace as well. And then as we go over to Posh, just a really solid centre-back over on new gen. You know, the lengthy style as well. And is very good at playing the offside traps. Because he's so fast and because he's lengthy. Really decent card as well, guys. You know, for 40k for these two, I think it's absolutely insane if you don't do them. Absolutely, absolutely love them. Obviously, Arnautovic is better. I felt Arnautovic more in game, but Posh was definitely good as well. And the link to Alaba is also awesome, guys. 
I really like these cards. I'm actually going to rate these uh, 9 out of 10. I think they're brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Go and get these ones done, guys. Let me know what you think of them in the comments below. But guys, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell so you don't miss a review. But guys, that's going to be it from me for now, so take care.